sun shining. Been a few hours to myself for a change, and I was about to go out for a ride on this bike. But not so fast, it seems I've got a problem. And the problem is, the rear tyre has gone down again. Um, there are no punches in it, there's no punches or flats as you say in America. So why has it gone down yet again? It seems to go down in about two or three weeks, maybe loses one or two psi a day. And I think the reason is because it's not seen properly against the inside of this rim. And that's because it's got a little bit of corrosion in there. The rims are now 15 years old, so they've been kept in a damp garage all winter. And I think it's just stopping it from sitting quite right. Now the true solution to this is to take the wheel out, take the tyre off, clean up the rim and then put it all back together again. And so rather than doing all that, I thought I'd try this stuff. This is um, goop, so-called puncture prevention. Some sort of liquid and you stick it inside your tyre and if you do get a puncture it uh, stops the air from leaking out and in my case it should actually stop the air from leaking from the outside of the rim. Um, not tried it before and I have just a slight problem in that I can't find my valve key to remove the valve from the tyre so slight delay there while I go and find one uh, but yeah it'd be quite interesting to see how this stuff works. Okay panic over I've just found a valve cap on a different bike which has a built-in valve key there hope you can see that so um, why all dust caps don't have that I don't know but uh, but hopefully now I can get that valve stem out and uh, we can make some progress. I'll just let the air come out slowly because I don't want this valve shooting out and being lost in the undergrowth. So uh, there's no rush. There we go. Okay, so now here's the stuff. Um, I have read quite a few reviews of this online, even on YouTube, and most of them are positive, but I have read a few things where people say it can corrode the inside of your rim, even more than usual and it can make a real mess of the inside of the rim and tyre when it's time to change tyres but since I don't change my own tyres it's not really an issue and right now I just want this thing sorted out and also if it means that one day if I do get a puncture this thing will stop me from being uh, stranded by the roadside that's just one big positive so let's get started okay so first of all I'll just rotate the wheel around slightly so that the valve is pointing this way so the liquid will go in and not splash out and uh, not quite sure how you're supposed to gauge where halfway is, but we'll give it a go. Um, yeah, that just goes on there like that. It's not a very tight fit, I'm afraid. Hopefully, it won't all squish out. And uh, yeah, you see it's squishing out because it's not a very tight fit, but anyway, we'll do our best. Just keep on squeezing it through. It is going in, you can see there. Oh, but it's a bit messy, isn't it? Just squeeze it. No idea how much is going in. Um, it is going in though, I can see it moving. It's got some kind of, um, I don't know, stuff inside of it like little beads, something. Okay, let's keep on squeezing. You can see there the uh, stuff going in. Uh, a bit difficult to gauge just how much you're putting actually. I'm going to have to stop and just uh, review what we've done here. We just pull it off and we'll see where we're up to. It's actually very difficult to see. This is very opaque, difficult to see how much I've used up. There's no clear bit anywhere. I mean, God, I don't know. I just have to. Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm miles off. There's still a lot to put in yet. I've only used up a small amount so far, so let's carry on. see it going in. It's got some kind of like, um, I don't know, some sort of fibre inside of it. You can watch it going in there. Little black dots there, look, you can watch it. Ugh. Okay, you can just let it uh, floss well. Maybe it needs a bit of time to roll down, I don't know. Let's have a look. Okay, I've now used up maybe, um, I don't know, a third of it, so I've still got a wee bit more to go yet. A bit messy as you can see, but we'll wipe that off later on. And let's just try one more time. I think one more squeeze and we should be there. There we go. It's going in now, yeah. I do think actually you need to wait a little bit because it must back up a little bit just inside the tie here and it just needs a bit of time to roll down and go where it needs to go. But yeah, I think I've now used up about half a 
yeah, that's about half a bottle, so we'll call that done. I've now got to clean that off and put the valve back in. Okay, so I've cleaned it up now, and it's now time to put the valve back in. Um, I must say, I'm a bit concerned that the gloop will, in fact, interfere with the workings of a delicate valve, but I guess the guys who make this stuff must know what they're doing. And so we're now using this rather clever little valve cap to uh, screw down the valve. You see there, it's got a built-in uh, valve key. In fact, all my back should have that, really. Okay, so we just put 32 PSI in this, and in a few days' time, I'll come back and we'll check it again and see whether it's uh, stayed up or whether it's lost a few pounds like it used to do. And hopefully, hopefully, it wouldn't have lost anything. Um, and in the future, if I do get a puncher along the way, uh, it'd be nice to know that I can get home with this stuff being inside a tyre. Uh, for now, I'll just use it on the back tyre. Although that 500ml bottle will actually do both wheels on a motorbike. Uh, they say you should use 250 on each tyre. Uh, yeah, so it is actually strange stuff. It just reminds me of uh, mint sauce for some reason. It's got little weird black bits in it. Anyway. And now here we are, a week later, or rather six days later, and I've just checked tyre pressures in this rear tyre, and it's still at 32 PSI, so it's not gone down at all, which is great news. I mean, it was going down maybe one or two PSI a day, so it wasn't something that stopped me from riding the bike, but I'm happy now to have fixed it. Um, yeah, so, so far so good. The goop stuff has done what it says it should do. So, um, yeah, we're all good. And thanks for watching, and cheers.